Okay, it's about 10 minutes later. I just wanted to show you the progress. This, uh, it does better in the uh, curved bottom pans. It goes faster than here, but you can see it's almost already boiled, nice and warm. I'm wearing a tank top and uh, I'm kind of warm. Of course, I don't know, it might be as warm as 40 whole degrees today, but <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so I figured I would just show you um, my uh, uh, part of my routine, how I do things, of course. Uh, I brush my teeth, and this is my spitter. I guess you could call this my bathroom. <laughs> That's my toilet. Um, <laughs> yeah, and by the way, uh, double line the bags at least. Just, you know, for future reference, in case you ever need that tip. Um, hope you don't, but, you know. Um, <laughs> anyways, and I, I ended up getting a bunch of supplements to see, you know, obviously I can't juice for myself or cook healthy foods or make my own medicine and stuff while I'm living in these conditions. So, I'm breaking another cardinal rule and going to tons of supplements to see if it can help knock this issue out um depending on what doctor you ask it's ms lupus fibro ra and then some but we'll just uh limit whatever is causing me to not be able to walk sometimes is autoimmune so anyways i'm trying to see what i can do here um but i have okay oh well toothpaste i guess uh, here we go. Oh, this Circumin stuff. The dude at the store says he uses it, and it's supposed to be the very, very best. I don't know. I took a couple yesterday, but I also drink alcohol, which I don't normally do, but I have to say, uh, after a couple drinks, I can walk. You know, when I... Anyways, so whatever. I have to do a whole bunch of stuff I don't really like to do. But uh, I'm also trying, let's see, the cod liver oil. Um, oh, this is a topical cream. It doesn't really work. I still put it on anyways, but, you know, I'm trying all this all-natural stuff from the super expensive store, but, oh, this is supposed to help me with my hair. By the way, <laughs> when I do do my hair, and I'll just... Uh, show you quickly here in my toiletries bag there's this uh shake it then get fresh herbal essences dry shampoo so you know i'll just squirt that in my roots and um i haven't tried this yet but I'm supposed to keep it from drying out and all that stuff natural stuff okay so there's iodine supposedly all these things are supposed to help me black walnut supposedly supposed to clean me out or whatever possible brain parasites and things can be going on okay this is supposed to help my brain stuff um which i'm doing really good i haven't had any stroke since i've lived here and i've had a few episodes where talking is hard um, but for the most part, I, I think I'm doing really good. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I think he liked me better mute. But anyways, so here's another one. I'm trying that, whatever, all about the gut, allegedly, and charcoal. I really haven't seen much of improvement, but okay. And then I had to go get diatomaceous earth and hoping this stuff will clean me out. Okay, the pure magnesium oil supposedly mm, bad lighting it's supposed to well it's allegedly good for your skin and stuff but supposedly it's supposed to reduce inflammation pain and things like that so oh and then uh carmen said uh bitters was working good for her so i figured well i might as well try it and see what happens and if it's true about the gut health and all of that stuff then maybe i'll get better all right how's the water going is it still boiling yeah all right so check that every once in a while then i guess i'll today i'll pull out my taster's choice by the way my kitchen here um 
I just uh, want you to see, I mean, there's not a lot in here, but when you think about helping people, people think that, oh, well, I don't have very much, and, uh, you know, I was so embarrassed, all I had was a dollar or hamburger or whatever, but, you know what, let me tell you, this is all I have, like these, and sardines, and oysters, and tuna, and you know what? I went and fed people up and down the street last night, and they were so freaking thankful. I have some corn tortillas, just dry corn tortillas, and dudes, they were like happy as can be, you know. I don't know how long it had been since they had eaten, but, you know, I saw them, and, um, or the one guy, his name was Mike, by the way, so I'm like, you're hungry? Well, yeah. I'm like, all right, hang on, dude, let me go get my car. So I pulled up and just kind of pulled everything out and we had a party on the streets kind of thing. It was cool. Met some other people, got some new additions to the van and, um, you know, it's fun. There's really good people out here and it's just neat to see how, I don't know, I just had this revelation like, there's no homeless on homeless crime. I wonder why. <laughs> you know, people out here, they know what's up. They're kind-hearted, they're good, compassionate souls. Uh, you know, and if something like that happens, maybe in the deep inner city, or people cracked out or whatever, I don't know. I'm not a crack whore, I'm not in the crack whore neighborhood. I don't know. But the normal whatever, non-crack whore people, <laughs> neighborhood it ain't like that and even a few of the people i met this dude last night he was crying he was clean for like six weeks i guess from heroin and ended up doing some more the night before last and just felt so horrible he's such a failure and this and that and you know of course i hugged him and told him he's perfect how he is and everything but blah 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 did that whole pep talk and you know just they're just sweet good hurting poor people. That's all. Nothing wrong with us. <laughs> We're not going to get you. We're not going to infect you. We're not going to rub off on you. Um, hopefully, actually, some of us do rub off on you. The kindness, the compassion, the empathy, the sense of adventure, the ability and willingness to take risks and put yourself out there and help other people and I don't know, it's kind of a cool community. I see the homeless people helping homeless people. And uh, that's the way it's, uh, it's cool. And, and through the people who have been able to help me, I'm going out and helping them. Oh, by the way, I just, uh, here's uh, back up to my office. I've been making some more hats and scarves and stuff to give away. Got a few up there and there's this little drive tonight. Just made this one too have a couple going on in there, but I was working on uh, these last night. This pretty little hat and this scarf. I didn't finish it because um, it was dark, but anyways, maybe I should try the hat on. Oh, that's cool. Let me see. Something like that. <laughs> anyways. Um, so, yeah, whatever, just...